Hey, what's going on, you future real estate mogul? My name is Robert LaFrance, and I just want to congratulate you on your decision to drop your email and receive my Massive Returns checklist because I know how hard it is out there today when you're looking for an opportunity and you're being marketed and solicited all these products and services and then even going out there and trying some of, my, some of them myself, some of them helped me, some of them didn't. And so what I wanted to do was give something free and tangible and useful to the new serious real estate investor who's interested in building a cash flowing real estate portfolio in order to live a life of your dreams according to your terms and values, okay? So if you're watching this video, that means that you've already registered and should have received the massive returns checklist in your email, all right? Here's what it looks like on paper. And I'm briefly going to go through this, but I've attempted to make this so simple that you can just go through this on your own. I remember when I first started in my real estate career, when I became a real estate agent, I was super independent and I knew what I could do on my own and I was very driven. And so if you are an independent driven person, this is going to be great for you. Now, the caveat to being an independent driven person in the real estate industry is realizing that while you can take responsibility and do a lot on your own for yourself, for your own results, this is a team sport. Real estate is a networking industry, okay? You need to be out there meeting new real estate investors. Uh, you need to be meeting and making new connections with experienced investors and lenders. So when it's time for you to close on a deal and fund that deal or maybe sell that deal to somebody else, you have people that you vetted and have built rapport with and trust and like each other in order for you to make real estate money, okay? So congratulations on taking that step and receiving your massive returns checklist. It's gonna be in your email. If you wanna get it and pull it up and go over some of this with me right now, I understand that you might be driving or in between meetings. So I'm not actually gonna do a full in-depth overview of this checklist. I'm just gonna kind of go over it and let you know some big things that, you need to be aware of in order for you to achieve success as you move forward, okay? But before I dive into that, let me just give you a little bit about who I am and my history and where I'm coming from and, and how I came to make this checklist, okay? Like I said, my name is Robert LaFrance. I was a Navy diver for seven years, and I knew that when I was going to get out, I wanted to build wealth through real estate, so I became a licensed real estate agent. I am no longer licensed. I decided to not renew my license and only focus on the investments because after my first couple of closings helping clients, um, I, re I looked at the closing disclosure and I realized how much I was getting paid versus the seller. Okay, And then I realized that I was on the wrong side of the table. Now, I'm in the buy and hold side of cash flowing real estate unless I want to you know, get larger deals and cash in some of my smaller deals. But my business model and strategy is buy and hold so I can build that generational wealth and those trusts and those estate plans for my family or my causes of choice. You know, I give back to the veteran community. I was a part of the American Legion Honor Guard. You know, So I want to give back to our community. And that's part of the reason why I built this checklist because in the Navy, we use maintenance requirement cards. You know, anybody from any background in education can pull up one of these cards and see exactly what materials they need, who needs to do the maintenance, how long the maintenance is going to take, and then the steps to perform that maintenance. And so I thought, MRC, how cute would that be if I made a massive returns checklist? All right. And I tried to make this so simple that anybody can pick this up and become dangerous in the real estate investing area. And it's going to be up to you to follow the checklist and also continue working on your self-development because you're going to be communicating with a lot of different people and a lot of different environments and a lot of different stress levels and dollar amounts. So this gives you enough to be powerful and take action if you are someone who's driven and wants to see results building properties. If you follow this list, You'll be able to learn along the way, get contracts, and mess around and get a property under contract and start getting paid if you have a good head on your shoulders. If you are someone who isn't ready for this kind of stuff, and I'm going to say, you know, if you don't have a good head on your shoulders, if you don't practice discernment, 
if you don't know how to communicate with yourself or other people, you could find yourself in a poor situation needing to sell a property, maybe upside down, like a lot of these sellers uh, that we're negotiating with and trying to help out of bad times now. All right. I'd hate for you to have some 14 unit building completely vacant project halfway through because something didn't go right. Okay. So at first, you have the checklist. That's great. All right. Follow this thing. Use discernment and good judgment and know how to network and ask for help as you go through this. Okay. So that's why I made it. All right. I'm really stoked for you. This is what I use every single day. This is what my business partner and I use for every deal to make sure that we're not missing anything and that we can stay organized. Okay. If you want help as you go through this checklist, or if you have questions as you go through this checklist, there is a section under step three with contracts that shows you how to become an associate and be part of my team, my real estate investing team, in which way we can answer your questions, collaborate on deals, know what's going on in the market, find what's working, find out what's not working, finding money, finding markets, all different things, okay? If you have any questions about this checklist, first DM me on Instagram or wherever you found me, DM me and ask a question. That's cool. But if you're looking for coaching and guidance along the way, hand-holding essentially, become an associate, join the team, and then boom, we're going to have calls. We're going to have access to people doing the work, okay? And you're going to have industry leaders that are here to help you in more than one business opportunity, okay? So going over this stuff is going to help build your asset plan, your asset management, your service member related benefits. It's going to help you and help empower that. And it's going to most importantly build passive income from the cash flowing real estate that you invest in. Okay. So like I said, I was a Navy diver, got out, knew I wanted to be in real estate and realized that being a real estate agent wasn't the right side of the table and that being a owner of real estate, cash flowing real estate is how wealth is made. And then so since 2016, I've been diving deep with my studies, with my experience helping uh, VA home loan, first time military buyers close on deals, move from across the country. And I learned that the process of real estate is the same. Someone needs to buy or, or someone needs to buy or sell a house. You buy or sell the house, you maintain it, you add value, you increase the value, and then you cash out. Okay. And then if you're in the single family realm, there's a little bit more steps to be uh, implemented. You need other people's approval of the value of the property. One of the great things I love about cash flow and commercial real estate, residential commercial real estate, which is five units and up, is that the value of the property is based on the amount of money that it brings in. So you can't argue the value of a property because you have the numbers and you're going to be looking at those numbers during your due diligence. Unlike a single family home, where you can say, oh, well, my neighbor has a similar house and they just sold their house for a million dollars. I want to sell my house for a million dollars. And then you kind of have to navigate those issues as well as if you're using an institutional financing, uh, national in financing institution, some lender who isn't a private asset-based lender, they're going to have their appraiser come in. You're going to have your inspections and all these different things that uh, have to happen before they'll say, yes, I'll give you the money. And that's the advantage of cash flowing real estate of five units and over is that you can verify the income, you can verify the value of the property. And then if you're using private or institutionalized funds, you can showcase the value in the property from the uh, due, dil due diligence items that you're going to be having, receiving, and the experience that you have in the market. All right. And you'll be able to have that kind of discussion. And speaking on discussion, Every conversation you have is a negotiation in this game, okay? Whether you're talking to a lender who promises the world or an investor, I want you to start like thinking about keeping your negotiation hat on all the time because if a lender's coming up to you and say, oh yeah, we'll give you 15% interest rate for that deal, you have to take a step back and be like, okay, well, I really want to close this deal, but do the numbers support that interest rate for me to close that deal? Eh, doesn't really look like it feels like this nice guy lender is actually trying to force me into foreclosure so I can't maintain the property or add value 
make the mortgage payments because of all the uh, financial responsibilities of ownership. And then he can foreclose on the property because we didn't fulfill our obligations to the promise. You know, so there's some weird stuff going on out there. Okay. If you have values, all right, which I'm sure you do because you're a veteran and you wouldn't be here if we didn't ha share the same terms and values and goals that we're looking for. You got to make sure that you're protecting yourself, your goals, and then also these sellers that are in a really bad position to, you know, to, to avoid being taken advantage of or their time wasted or their emotions going up and down. And it's, you know, real, real estate period is a roller coaster of emotions, whether you're trying to buy your primary residence or, you know, a multi-million dollar deal. The great thing about the multi-million dollar deal though, is once you get past the intimidation and the newness and realize that it's based and bound by the numbers, then it removes emotion from it where you're like, no, I can't pay that because it's worth this much. You know, I digress. But it's really exciting stuff, okay? So as you get into your real estate investing realm and your journey, go through this checklist, mark this paper up, save a copy, make copies of this because you're going to use this checklist for every deal that you're uh, pursuing in order to stay um, sharp. You feel me? Cool. All right. So the process is super simple. All right, I consider this a surefire way to unlock your financial independence all right. And the financial independence to me is just being able to live life how I want, you know, be with my family, go to the gym, fly all day, host events for veterans, you know, go fishing, host masterminds, all these different things and collaborate with the people that I like to collaborate with, which are veteran entrepreneurs and athletes. All right. That's my realm. And that's who I like to stay around and keep my mind sharp. They say that the average of you'll become the average of the five people you hang around with. So I want to hang around sharp, badass people who are doing the thing. You know what I mean? All right. So this is a step-by-step -step guide for veterans wanting a massive return investing in cash flow and real estate. I'm going to be honest with you. I might go missing after this because I'm literally giving away the keys to the kingdom for free. Okay. This is actually really hard to do. I felt like this was like thousands of dollars. Um, this checklist alone is worth some serious cash because of the amount of time and energy and effort I've had to put in to create this. And so to give it away for free, when I mean, I've spent thousands of dollars multiple times to learn this process and get my mentorship and guidance and partnership with people out in there and deals and to give it away for free. I really just want to you to know that like, this is for real. <laughs> it's for real. So if I go missing, I'm guaranteeing some of these real estate gurus snatched me up because I just took away from their sales because I'm, this is the process. This is, this hasn't changed ever in the it, since real estate began the fact that people can buy and sell real estate for profit has it changed and so you don't need to worry about anything changing like that because it's always going to change and the numbers are going to reflect proportionally okay so if i go missing and i'm not doing vacation posts or something like that you know you've been warned okay so if you're here you should be a veteran okay if you're here you should be a veteran interested in learning this checklist that I've created, right? This is a strategy that's been designed for sophisticated investors to follow and find cash flowing multifamily real estate assets. Okay. You can use this for your own deals as well as holding investor partners accountable for deals that they present. All right. Everybody has a different way of marketing their skills in the real estate game and everybody's re not everybody, but a lot of people are rebranding things to make it their own specialty and be known for that. That's cool. I just want you to let you know that that's all magic. And I, and you might see a little bit of, of that from me. I'm going to stay honest, but it's all magic, okay? When you learn this process, you can't be phased. And then when you have somebody else saying, oh, I got these deals. Oh, really? Tell me about your deals. You can use this checklist as a way to vet other people who are ch coming after you for partnership or money, all right? I don't want you to be a real estate agent or broker or investor and lose out on $600,000 or $85,000 because you didn't follow the process or the laws, or the regulations that have been put in place by the Security Exchange Commission, the SEC. So anything happens, and if anything happens to you after this checklist and you didn't follow it, you need to maintain and accept responsibility for that, okay? Because there's a, there are rules. Don't be writing checks 
writing personal checks to some one, two, three entity LLC, because that's how money's stolen. That's how that's robbery. Okay. There's going to be a process. You want to be handling that with attorneys and in a secure fashion. Okay. And that's actually why I have the legal shield service embedded in all of areas of my life, not just my real estate business, but in every area of my life. Okay. Because I have 24 seven emergency legal access to an attorney in every state of which I need it. Okay. It's super cheap. I got involved because I was going through a divorce as I was in my real estate investing journey. And someone had recommended this product or service legal shield for, for my divorce and custody battle. And it helped me a ton. All right. I saved tons of money, not just on attorney retainers, but also I represented myself in trial twice. Okay. And I did very well. Okay. And I did that because of real estate, having cash flowing real estate to step away from my work and focus on studying the legal process and representing myself in court and committing myself to my goals, which was being there for my daughter as much as I possibly could and building a business. Okay. So if that's an advantage of both legal shield and investing in real estate is the fact that we can leverage these resources and opportunities and strategies to build massive passive income that gives us the freedom and flexibility to do whatever we want. Okay. And for me, the last two, three years, it's been fighting in court over custody and visitation, leveraging this legal shield uh, service, as well as building a real estate portfolio. Okay. And it's been pretty great making connections with agents who are like, oh, can you buy this hotel building? Can you buy this RV park? You know, and so they've become golden retrievers and people who want to bring us deals. And that's incredible because we're so, I think that we're so used to going out there and taking external action that we miss people being like, hey, you want this? Hey, you want that? And once you've built that up, you don't even have to go out there and look for deals anymore because you're closing deals with agents whose livelihood is finding more properties to list for sale. And so when you make good partnerships with that, you can take the appropriate seat and let the professionals do the work. Okay. I digress. Understand that cash flowing real estate is one of the realest, most reliable catalysts to financial independence. Okay. If you're here, you should understand that. All right. If you don't understand or have faith in the opportunity in real estate investing, you're in the wrong place. You're not ready for this check checklist yet. Okay. You're not ready for my mentorship or coaching or collaboration. I'm going to be honest with you. Do some homework, read some books, gain some certainty, get out there, do the education, come back to the checklist, take action, and then you're going to get that certainty and those results that are going to perpetuate goodness, okay? I'm not saying it's not un unobtainable, but you need to understand that cash flowing real estate is the realest and most reliable way to build financial independence and wealth because not only are you building passive income that allows you to live a life on your terms and values, you can give yourself a pay raise, a six figure increase pay raise every month with every new property that you close on. Okay. There's serious tax advantages of being a, not just a small business owner, but a real estate investor. There are a ton of guidelines and policies and regulations and laws available for us real estate investors to make a ton of money, pay less in taxes and have a an abundant lifestyle. Okay. If anything happens to our US currency, like, oh, what's going on around the world and world currency, digital currency, what happens to my dollar? You know, think you have a cash flowing building. Okay. If anything happened to the dollar where we switched to anything else and we needed cash, not only are the tenants converting their currency to what they need to do to pay rent, but now we have a real asset that we could sell and cash in for that new currency and then make pivotal movements if we need to. Okay. And becoming financially independent will make space for options after the military service. Whether you're staying in as a career or you're getting out after, you know, four, seven, 14 years, 20, 30, whatever you need, this gives you that certainty to rely on that income just like you did in the military, first and 15th. You know you're getting paid just by being part of the crew. Okay, same thing with this. You know you're going to get paid 10 times over every month, every 12 to 18 months by having real estate in your portfolio, okay? So it gives you that opportunity and that type of calmness knowing that you're good, you can do whatever you want. And it actually changes how we live life. I think it has for me 
because I've been able to just do whatever I want. I don't have to feel forced or stuck in a position um, that I'm not comfortable being in because I have money coming in and I have the set of skills that can always increase more money and allow me to live my life. Okay. So whether or not you want to be a stay at home parent, a broke artist or a rich artist, a humanitarian, or even yes, live the life of luxury, lavish luxury. You can do that. You can do anything you want and you can give yourself the pay raise at any time using this checklist. Okay. If you want to work with a team of reliable professionals, you are in the right place. Okay. I want to work with a team of reliable professionals for fortune and fun. It's a lot more fun laughing with your bros over the phone about these negotiations that take place or the fact that you're moving closer towards a deal or you just found another lender that has a million dollars that they want to put up. It's exciting. And as much as I enjoy creating content and stuff in my little studio here, there is nothing I enjoy more than jumping on the phone with a business partner and be like, dude, bro, I can't believe this is happening. A year ago, we were trying to do this and that and all this is happening and now it's happening. How exciting. That's the point of masterminds and team calls is that you get to stay in that environment and become the average of the five people that you're hanging around with and pursuing those goals that you're targeting. <laughs> All right. So if that's something that you're interested in, you're definitely in the right place. Building your own team or joining a team is something that you have to do no matter what space of real estate you're in. Okay. If you want to scale your results, you need to build a team. That's why real estate brokerages have agents and many agents and then build teams so they can scale and, and make a bigger impact and provide more service to many and then increase their profits. Okay. So if you're a leader, if you know that you're a leader and you're interdependent and you're driven and you are looking to assemble your team, perfect. You're the guy that's going to, or gal, that's going to take this checklist and run with it and start making moves. And then next thing you know, you're going to be the guy, you're going to be the subject matter expert and people are going to be magnetized, drawn to you. Okay. Or you can join somebody else's team. Someone else who has more experience, more resources, more deals coming to the table, who knows more than what you might, okay? And that's very important to be humble and aware of your skill set and your abilities and being able to know when and where to ask for help, especially along this process because you don't want to lose your assets. You don't want to you don't want to personally guarantee for a 10 million dollar loan if you got 0 dollars in the bank. You know, how do you do that? How do you even get access to $10 million, $10 million if you have $0 in the bank? There's a lot of different ways to do that, but I'm going to be honest with you right now. Despite marketing, it all takes time and effort, okay? Yeah, you can use other people's money. Yeah, you can buy a property for $0 and not seller financing. You can do subject to, or yeah, you can make thousands of dollars wholesaling. But guess what? You need people on the other side of the phone that are going to answer when it's time to do that capital call. I got millions of dollars on my lender's list. It's still hard to find money sometimes. There's a lot going on in the world. People's emotions are involved. When I do a capital call, it's still a capital call. I have to wait for people to come back. I still have to follow up with people. You know, so marketing, you got to be careful with the marketing. There's a lot of people out there trying to make sales and sell you the dream and that's part of the process. And let me be one of the few who's just going to be real with you, okay? Here's a free resource for you to get started and take action. Boom. Understand that every one of these sections of my checklist is going to get take time to become an expert in, to build that list, to connect with other people so you can close on a property, so you do have the paperwork to get that property under contract, so you can fund it. Oh, well, now I got the property under contract and the money actually isn't there. Now I need to get rid of this thing. I wonder if I could wholesale this or sell this contract to somebody else who would be interested in it. Do you have a list of people who would do that? All right. So that's why it's really important that you understand that this is a team sport and that you want to start networking and look at things as a negotiation within the realm of real estate. Well, everything is a negotiation, even if you want to walk across the street. All right. So that's where joining a team comes in. You get to leverage the experience, the time, the resources of the team, of the members of the team. You're growing and co co you're growing collectively. The rising tide lifts all ships, and you have the power to either, you know, brand yourself, make your own team, or join a team, or you know, cross pollinate between your team and other teams. Because even successful people are a part of masterminds and have mentors and are 
working towards something, right? Okay. Like I said, real estate's a team sport. And the sooner you accept that, the more success you're going to have. Okay. And you just need to make sure you have discernment so you don't lose money, lose skills, jeopardize your reputation, or find yourself in a bad spot. Okay. If you are hungry, willing, and coachable, if you're hungry and willing, coachable, you can do anything you want in this world. All right. This you're in the right place. I don't have to say anything more than that. All right. If you're a veteran, which you should be if you're here, okay. If you're a veteran, you've already displayed commitment in the virtues, honor, courage, commitment. You've sacrificed your own, you've sacrificed your body, you've sacrificed your health, you've sacrificed your family's needs and desires. You've you maybe you've even sacrificed your dreams, you know, or you've joined the military and you've gotten everything that you've wanted, but at the same time, you've been trained. You've been indoctrinated into the military mindset and processes and systems and expectations. And this is where I'm going with this. You have a certain amount of skills that that perpetuate success if you see it in yourself. That's the biggest thing. If you see deep down that you are hungry and you are willing to be coached and ask for help, you are going to do great things in no matter what area of your life. Okay. You're worth it. You're not disposable. And you need to be hungry, willing, and coachable in order to make progress and, su and success in this new realm, in this new chapter of your life. Okay. So let's talk about the checklist. Okay. This checklist right here, I have it printed out. Recommend you do the same. The top goes over the information that you need for every property. Okay. It's going to help you identify. If they're asking too much, if they're they're gonna they're, it's gonna identify what numbers you can offer. It's gonna this is gonna talk about the rules. It's gonna be talking about. I could make courses out of this checklist of each section, and I'm actually going to do that. Um, that will be available at a later date. But this is gonna give you everything you need to make sure that you buy a properly a, that you don't over leverage a property and you have all the resources you need. Now, so the first step is identifying the role, whether or not you want to be an investor or a lender partner. Like I said, this isn't just for beginners, whether or not you're in the start phase, the scaling phase, the building momentum phase, whichever phase you're in, you can use this checklist to cons consistently scale your results. Okay. It's got a number of units and everything. The marketing aspect, the marketing aspect is you going on the internet or making phone calls to agents and sellers and saying, Hey, I'm looking for these types of assets. That's, I mean, I can't ask you to do anything else. You know, some of these other business opportunities might require you to sh sell things on eBay, create an online store, you know, like uh, subscription services, holding inventory in your house and stuff like there's a lot of other things. One of the few things that you have to do is just something in this real estate game. Okay. And that is calling or emailing agents and sellers and being like, Hey, has this sold? How much money does it bring in about how much in repairs is needed and any wiggle room on a cash offer? If you can let me know that I'll write a check today. You know, if you can do that, if you can have a conversation with people, you're going to win because it's not only are is the law of average is going to come into play, but you got this checklist and all your, and you're doing the work. So many things require us to do the work and so much of the work is non-enjoyable. When you realize that you can build a life of your dream, dreams, reaching out to an agent every two days, three days, every few, you know, for a few minutes, having a conversation, building rapport, having fun with the process, you're going to find yourself with agents bringing you deals left and right. You don't even have to pursue any of the deals. If you just start calling agents from around the country, telling them what you're interested in, connecting with new real estate agents, these people are hungry to sell you their deals and get more deals for you. So for me, there's just no better position than being a real estate investor where I can sit in my house, make videos, make a phone call or an email and have tons of deals coming to me versus me being a real estate agent, having to send mailers, cold call, knock on doors, market my friends and family, you know, it, it's, there's a way to do every business niche in industry and opportunity. And the great thing for me is that I've done all of them. I've delivered newspapers. I've done security. I've been in the military. I've 
set up sales funnels online for businesses. I've scaled businesses from $13,000 to $115,000 online sales. You know, so like the amount of work that's required for so many different things in our, in our life where we trade time for money or whatever way that you earn a living and income. I think that being a real estate investor is the best, most passive or casual approach to building a fortune and independence. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Okay. So go through that, go through the checklist. All right. Get hungry. <laughs> all right. So you're searching online. People are bringing you deals. Now you want to negotiate. I recommend negotiating before you get anything on paper so you don't waste time. It takes a lot of time to fill out contracts. It takes a lot of time to fill out letter of intent, which I don't even use. Some people do that because it's not even a, I don't even use because it's not a real contract. If I were to get, if I were to, as an agent, if I were to have two buyers, one saying, oh, well, let's do this paperwork. I'm going to do a letter of intent right now. And I received a letter of intent, which specifically says it's not a contract or an offer. Uh, and then I had another buyer that gave me a legit contract, which is an offer in real, you know, I would advise my client to look at the two options, see which one's paying more, or which one works out for our interests, and then accept the one that's most real. All right. And so you need to consider that if you were an agent or if you were a seller, what are you looking for and what are you willing to do? And you, and through this process, through following this checklist, if you're just starting, you're going to discover all of that. You're going to discover the interest kisses and the way that it, the way you're going to develop your style. You're going to develop your style on how you pursue your fortune. Okay. Contracts there. This is the most important part. Um, I recommend joining my, or getting the business builder bundle as if you're going to be doing this seriously. Okay. If you don't already have access to contracts, legitimate contracts, you got to be careful. All right. This is real estate can be risky. We all know that investing is risky, okay? So part of our job as a real estate investor is to mitigate those risks. And that's why I like working with veterans because we have transferable skills where we have critical thinking skills. We're used to working in high-risk environments, high-pressure environments, and we're able to take a step back and really see the bigger picture here, all right? And that's what I really appreciate here. So if you want access to my contracts or have an attorney to draft up your own contracts, I recommend going to my website, robertlafrance.wearelegalshield.com, where you can join my team, become an associate, select the business builder bundle, and then you have options. You can either create your own contracts, you can use my own con my contracts, we can partner to deals together or whatever. All right. But if you just want to go the free route, understand that comes with risks. It might work. I'm actually, my first investment property outside of my primary residence purchase with my VA home loan was a single family home in Newport News, 41 Robinson Drive. And I got it subject to the existing financing. Okay, sub to existing financing, which is a way to avoid paying money up front, take ownership of a property, collect rents and sell it for a profit. Okay. I didn't use the right contract. Matter of fact, we didn't even close on it correctly. It's crazy how that worked out for me. But it, but it, I got lucky. I'm going to be honest. I got lucky. I, I had a great seller who disappeared for a while. She was going through her own stuff. She didn't give me a lot of headache. My tenants were tenants. And then I had a great CPA. And then so when I came to close on it, we found out that we didn't actually close on it, that the seller was entitled to her tax advantages of owning the property. And, and, but I did have an agreement where I could take ownership and sell it. And I did, and I made 45 grand on the sale. And I, I think over total, I made around 50 grand total, which is great off of one property that I paid only $900 in repairs for. So it's just exciting. And when it comes to contracts, do your due diligence, have some discernment, make sure it's good to go. And you have this incredibly affordable resource to have a local professional who's a real estate attorney, look at your stuff and say, hey, what are you trying to do because of this? Or, hey, what are you trying to do? Cool, I can do that. You know what I mean? If you're going to be serious in this game, there's no shortcuts, all right? The only shortcuts in this game 
is built by experience in identifying the gaps and bridging those gaps for you to work more efficiently. Right. And that's where this checklist comes in for me. Okay. The next step is the due diligence. This is where you have everything under contract. It's getting real. Now you're making moves. You're going to be inspecting the property. You're going to be negotiating with new property management. You're going to be having them compete for the business. You're going to learn all about, you're going to be verifying financials. You're going to be setting up your, uh, uh, your business entities. If you accept everything, you're, this is an opportunity for you to renegotiate. All right. So that's something to think about too. In the beginning, you're negotiating as low as you can, and then you're going to renegotiate some more, renegotiate some more. You're going to do some more negotiating after you see the home inspections, the, the repairs, the, the HUD checklists, all these different things that you're going to be verifying. Okay. The income you're going to get to renegotiate there. And I have that all laid out on the items that you need, the income, the expenses, the documents, how to organize it. Okay. I got that all right here for you to track and stay organized on your own. All right. Which is great because this gives you the freedom and flexibility to create your system in your business and not spend five grand on a course where you have to learn all this stuff and then, then take action. You know, I, I, I try to create a, a resource for, New investors who are probably broke or transitioning out of the military, probably broke, looking for their purpose. You know, my whole thing after looking back, I was like, you know what I was really missing? I was missing camaraderie, a sense of purpose, and financial stability. And real estate allows me to do that. I get to go to jujitsu at 6.30 in the morning. I get to fly with my friends. I get to be with my family. And so there's just things like that. Okay, so I have everything you need right here, All right. The next step is title companies, attorney states. Look, you're going to be dealing with a multi-million dollar asset, many people's lives and businesses. It's best to have an attorney in your pocket, okay? Inspector, funding, comparing and verifying, renegotiated, talked about that. I have all this list down, repairs and maintenance, rent, roll and lease, contingencies, seller finance and concessions, property management, property taxes, environmental issues, insurance, contingency timelines, earnest money, financing terms. These are all aspects of a contract that you need to have in place that you can take to an attorney or verify from the information that the sellers provided you according to this checklist. Okay. I got, I got little secrets in here. Look at this. Step six, secure funding, insurance, and form business entity. Walk you through, in, walk, I walk you through that. It's None of this is as complicated as some of the people make it seem. All right? A lot of the times, for me, I got overwhelmed because I just got overwhelmed. There's a lot of information. I wanted success. I wanted now. I'm 26, 27 years old, going, you know, transitioning to the civilian workforce, starting a family, going through divorce. So there's all kinds of stuff. And now that I have all that drama behind me. It, this is so simple, <laughs> so simple. All right. So if you're someone who's going through a lot right now, focus on this, become an expert in this, because once you get your first deal, <laughs> the drama, not as influential as you might expect. Okay. Cause then you have abundance, you have options. All right. Don't let people tell you that Oh, social media gives us a false sense of options. No. Okay, you do the work. You know what you're worth. You become a magnet and you have options, options, not just false sense of options, all right? If someone comes up and gives you your phone number in front of a group of people, that's a real option. That's not magic, all right? So asset-based private lenders are my favorite. All right, we're on step six, secure funding, insurance, and form a business. Any asset-based private lenders are the best because you get to negotiate the interest rates. You get to create your own offering program, lending program. These are people that you've become friends with, that you know, like, and trust, that you're able to have a legitimate conversation with, with your boys versus some institutional lender that's just trying to get paid. And when you start talking to these people, like – when you really know what you're talking about and you're able to find lending and come up with terms and you have options and people try to sell you something that isn't actually very good, you can talk to these people. Be like, listen, man, how are you going to tell me that you can refinance my asset in three weeks when local credit unions and national lenders are telling me that we need to season it for 12 to 18 months? Okay, well, that's because this guy's got something different up his sleeve or something. 
You know, it's just when you know what you got, you know what you got, and you become unshakable, right? And this process has proven unshakable, not just for me, but for any other, every other successful real estate entrepreneur guru out there on social media showcasing their lifestyle made from real estate who are making tons of money from sales online. And then it's probably not even real estate. If you look at Grant Cardone, Grant Cardone is in a class action lawsuit right now by from the Securities Exchange Commission by over promising things and calling out the SEC on social media. Okay. And so yeah, there's a lot of money to be made in real estate if you do the work and take action consistently. All right. If you're someone who doesn't want to take the action and work consistently, well, then there won't be any results. And so I'm not going to promise you anything right now, except for the fact that you have a free checklist that you can use at your disposal and access to national legal network of attorneys for you to manage your service-related benefits, build your asset, your uh, your estate plan, and then also build entities and review leases and contracts and send notices to evict people and have 24 seven emergency access to an attorney when DCS comes to your door and tries to take your kid or something, you know, whatever, not that this ever happened to me, but it works. All right. Step seven, we're closing. We're talking about acquiring cash flowing multi family assets, millions of dollars in our future, generational wealth, financial independence. And we're talking about step seven, we're able to do the real estate investing process in nine steps. If you can just, what else can you do in nine steps to make six figures? This free resource is giving you the opportunity to pay yourself at least a six-figure increase every year. And if you just get out of your own way, Stop listening to broke people and trust your gut and be yourself and pursue your goals so you can become the best and ultimate version of yourself in your life. Listen to your heart, okay? And follow this checklist, <laughs> all right? Step seven is to close, all right? It talks about referring back to the tracking docs, you know, assist smooth closing between lender and attorney, all right? Optimize is step eight. We're going to increase the net profit. We're going to increase the overall money we bring in, and we're going to increase the money that we keep. Okay. We're going to make improvements. We're going to maintain the property. And then step nine, a year into owning it, or whenever you're able to do this, you're going to refinance. You're going to take out a new loan and pull out that equity from the property because it's been paid off. You negotiated it under 70% of its value. And so when you when you cash out refinance, at a lower interest rate or with a different lender, you're able to pull out that money tax-free because you don't pay taxes on loans. And so imagine having a $700,000 asset under contract for $350,000. You're paying on it for a year. Let's call it 340 equity. The difference between 340 and $700,000 is your tax out refi. Yeah, tax, <laughs> tax-free refinance. And so you can keep that split it between your business partners. These aren't options. You're either going to split it between your business partners, put it into the next deal, put it in back into the property or, or whatever it is that your business entity structure disclosure statement or, you know, agenda is right. But in nine steps, you get to refinance and pull out that rough $350,000 tax free. What would you do with that? Well, you just talked about having a six figure increase every year. And just from one property, not to mention the cash flow that it's bringing in, the hundred the hundred grand a year cash flow it's bringing in. Now you get to pull out three fifty. So now that first year, you're making four hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Do that a couple times a year. You don't have to close a deal every week. You could close one of these deals four times a year and call yourself a successful, financially independent real estate entrepreneur. You know, it, it, it's crazy. And that's why I chose this side of real estate versus single families because the purchase, the hassle, the amount of money, 
you know, I could, you know, for three hundred fifty thousand dollars, you can either get a single family home or you can get an eleven unit in upstate New York that's cash flowing and netting ninety thousand dollars a year. What that does, you know, if follow the numbers. If your numbers based, if you're analytical, this is a great way. If you're able to just sit back and look at the numbers, you're in a you're in a good spot. All right. So that's step nine, refinance. The last sheet here, I have a refinance worksheet attached. This is for you to just uh, from like a 10,000 foot view, just to look at your stuff, right? We're going to be looking at the date, months since purchase, purchase loan balance, current loan balance, equity, net income at purchase, current net income, value at refinance, percentage of value pulled from refi, because some lenders won't do 100% refinancing. I bet you didn't know that. I bet people aren't telling you that. They're just selling you the hopes and dreams of what you can do. And then next thing you know, you're having phone calls, you're buying dinner, and then you're out there getting properties under contract, and you're realizing, well, damn, I got duped. All right? So sometimes you can only get 80% of uh, the value from the refinance, which is why it's important to have access to asset-based private money lenders. All right? If you, go, if you know your grandma has a retirement account, well, you can pay back grandma a better interest rate than she's earning. And then make more money, okay? And then work with people that are close to you, which is also challenging because you don't want to do business with family is what they say. You don't want to do business with friends. You know, there's a lot of tensions involved. And you're right. A lot of those bad experiences that happen between friends and family happen for the reason of not having good business practices, okay? Obviously, you don't want to, try to convince your grandmother who has a poor attitude on investments in the first place, lend you $3,300 to get started. And then all of a sudden change your mind four weeks after she gave you the money and the money's been spent, you know? So there's just things that happen just like in life, just like in, or happen in this real estate game. And you got to be prepared for that. So when you do the work up front and you really vet people up front and, and, and you understand that delayed gratification is the way to success, Anything that comes quickly goes quickly. You're going to do great, all right, especially if you're linked arms with the right people, all right? And then we have notes for you to take notes on the property, all right? So I tried my best to take all 10 years of my investment experience, entrepreneurial experience, and put it into a checklist specifically catered to the real estate, the veteran real estate investor interested in cash flowing multifamily assets. All right. And if you're interested in collaborating with me and my team or learning or building with my team, no matter your, your, your experience level, all right, become an associate, choose the business builder bundle that's below, all right? Or you can go to robertlafrance.wearelegalshield.com, all right, and become an associate. I'm going to tell you right now, I earn a commission from your purchase and joining of the business bundle, all right, or joining of my team. I earn a commission. I don't think you should have a problem with that. You are here to make a lot of money. You are here to build generational wealth, multiple streams of income with real estate or what have you. Why not add another source and stream of income in potential as you're already following your process, all right? I use this legal shield service not to just review contracts and send eviction letters or, you know, represent my represent myself in court. I'm also using this legal shield network and resource as potential partnerships, networking, additional income, all right? And I can use it within my own wheelhouse. So, yes, I'll make a commission when you become a partner, okay? When you become an associate and we start working together. But that's not what this is all about. You know, making a $500 commission, one to $500 commission, that's helpful. Yes, it is life-changing to some people, but let's not get distracted from our real purpose here. And that's investing in cash flowing real estate to get six figures a year at least. All right. Let's not step over dollars to pick up pennies. All right. I've done that before. I've lost focus before. I've done the shiny new things. Okay. Let me tell you one thing. If you are serious about building a real estate portfolio, you want this service. It's going to protect your assets. It's going to help you build everything that you want within and around the real estate realm. It's also going to provide another stream of income as you focus on your specialty. You're not going to be distracted, right? It's not going to be like, oh, during the day I sell potions and at night 
I sell lotions. <laughs> no, we are pursuing real estate deals. We are communicating with real estate agents and brokers. Guess who also need this service? Real estate agents and brokers. Why? Because they're real because they're representing tenants and sellers and buyers who also need to do what? Review contracts, argue their lease, avoid getting evicted, you know, or be evicted or grow a team for real estate professionals who are focused on cash flow and multiple streams of income, building residual passive income. I love my residual income and it's taken time to build it. I got my residual 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 income from serving in the Navy as a diver for seven years. I get disability. I get service benefits. I have rental properties that pay me during COVID. I worked on a farm on my own time, did some consulting. Okay. Helped generate their business, you know, increase their business. Didn't have to go into work or I didn't have to follow anybody else's rules. You know, there were firefighters stepping away from fire departments because of the rules that were happening during COVID. During COVID, I had rental income coming in. What was your experience during hard times like COVID or transitioning between workplaces? If you had just one, if you just had one rental property, even if it was a single family with one family in there, that income is life-changing because it provides an opportunity for you to be like, you know what? This is happening in my life right now, and this is what I have to do. This is a decision that I have to make. That's going to help you. It's going to help relieve all the stress and everything else. And I'm just super passionate about real estate and fulfilling my purpose and living my dream life. And I want you to live your dream life too, okay? And I believe that we together, utilizing this checklist and this process in the Legal Schultz Service will empower you to do exactly that. All right. So whether or not you want to be a silent, unknown real estate investor that's got some rental properties and you can live your life as you wish, there's totally an opportunity for do that. As long as you're networking and doing the right things, you can do that. If you're trying to do more than that, there's an opportunity. You can be a brand. You can be a public speaker. All right, you can give presentations. You can work with companies. Jim Rohn, who is the considered the goat, the greatest of all time, of personal development lectures and resources, who have who's helped companies scale and expand. He also uh, essentially brought Tony Robbins into the world because Tony Robbins used Jim Rohn as a mentor. All right, and Jim Rohn started in a network marketing company. Ooh, I said it. All right, I'm going to let you know, Legal Shield is a network marketing company. But of all the network marketing companies to participate in with the fear and the skepticism of the legalities of it, I would choose the one that surrounds itself with legalities. Okay, that's me personally. As well as Jim Rohn stating, having a mentor, utilizing network marketing for growth and scale. And look at where that's taken him. He's got a library of content available on Audible. You know, he's got content everywhere. And his estate is making royalties and passive income from that efforts. So whether or not you want to be a an unknown real estate investor that's, you know, spending time with his family off of social media and the internet, you know, making a homestead, farming, doing the whole thing, you had that opportunity to do that. And if you see yourself with a story, if you're like, Robert, I have a story. I want to share my story for an impact because my message matters. I want to help veterans transition out of the military so they don't feel lost. So they know that they have community and camaraderie and they have that support to chase their sense of purpose and have some money while they're you know, being happy, being a mechanic at the Meineke down the road. No plug the Meineke. But you just have options. And that's what I love about it. I wanted to grow up and be a comedian following George Carlin. I wanted to be a radio DJ. My whole life, I've had a voice that I've wanted to share. I mean, I was a kid thinking about how I wanted to share my story. And, I'm, and I haven't even had life yet. <laughs> and now that I'm 34 years old at the time of making this video, I have life. And I still share, I still possess that internal passion and that drive to share my story for an impact and make the world a better place through the best way that I know how. Okay. And that's building some sustainable income, 
pursuing your sense of fulfillment and your purpose and doing it with cool people along your side. Okay. And if you resonate with what I just said, just click the link below. I'll get all of your information and I will reach out to you directly and we'll have the conversation to see where you're at in your business, what your goals are and what we need to do to have you get there. And then I can connect you with the people who are on similar missions as you. Okay. Not to mention our, our community, our, our legal shield community not of just members, but of associates. Oh my gosh. You're talking about partnerships. You're talking about resources and expertise, man, no better environment or community to be a part of than a community who is hungry with doing ethically sound business and trying to make life-changing income. Okay. And if that's you click the link below, become an associate, choose the business builder bundle and add the appropriate supplements that are relevant to your business, where it stands now, your family, where you're trying to go. And then I'll receive an email where I'll reach out to you directly and we'll have our game plan interview. Okay. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something from this. Dive into that checklist today. And then if you have any questions, you know what to do. Okay. Thank you so much. They say that the rising tide lifts all ships, encourages contagious. So help me help you help your friends. Thank you. Take care.